I want to demonstrate to you the mindset of designers as they build the streets that we walk and bike and, and, and to a great extent drive on within our urban areas. Um, this is the base of a, of a traffic signal. So if you are going to cross this street, the designer of this has built in feature that you will, as a human being outside of a vehicle, walk up to this pedestal and press a button and then stand there on the edge of the roadway and wait your turn to cross while traffic goes through this intersection, right? I've just explained to you how every city intersection works, right? I want you to look very closely at the base of this pole. And I want you to look, I'm gonna take a side shot of it right here. I want you to look at it right there and you can see there's this weird configuration where the pole is actually not connected to the pedestal. There's a gap in there. And if you look in there, there's some screws. What is going on with this? Those screws are called shear pins. And the reason that they're there is because this pole is designed to shear off if a vehicle comes and hits it. If a vehicle comes flying off the roadway and hits that pole, the pole is designed not to be a stable stop thing that they'll run into and have a traumatic injury. The pole is designed to give way and to essentially gently collapse and absorb that kinetic energy to spare the driver the trauma of the abrupt stop. The reason that is put in is because enough drivers were going off the road in these kind of areas, striking these poles and dying or having traumatic brain injuries. And so the engineers, the designers have gone in and designed systems that break away. Again, where are you standing in this scenario? Where are you positioned? And, and, and not just like where are you positioned theoretically, where does the same person who designs the breakaway nature of that pole, the same person who acknowledges that vehicles are gonna be traveling at such high speeds and experience such trauma if they hit this pole. The same person who goes through that process to design that has also gone through a process to put you right there at the same time. What does that say about the system? Right? There's a term that lawyers use uh, for gross negligence. And gross negligence uh, in a legal definition in the U.S. Uh, means a conscious indifference to the safety of others. Uh, we have acknowledged and we're very sensitive to as designers the trauma that the driver will suffer by hitting the pole. We are consciously indifferent. We have made an intentional decision to be indifferent to the trauma suffered by the person standing at the pole where we expect them to be. This is backward, and it's a complete uh, reversal of what we know and what I think the great insights of the transportation profession are. 